rods, okay? What if the rod is made of different material? So let's say you have a rod, something like this. So example two, lambda is equal to kappa x cubed. So usually I just pick some kind of constant here. It doesn't matter what the constant is. But what matters is the behavior of the lambda on the x. So in other words, this rod, according to this equation, this rod is made of material here that has almost no density. You know, it's like maybe you could glue, let's say, cotton, start out with cotton, a bunch of cotton balls, and then keep getting denser, 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 you know, wood. Keep getting denser, 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 you know, aluminum, da, 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 until you get to platin, platinum some kind of a weird rod glued by different material, you know. So basically, Im imagine that kind of a rod. Or another thing you could imagine is something like this, okay. Oh, let's see. Like a baseball kind of situation. This one is the same material, but you have a bigger concentration of mass here. So it's almost analogous to this, where it's some kind of object that looks like this, you know, that has more mass concentration here. So its center of mass is going to be here. It's not going to be in its middle. Same thing for this rod. It could be platinum, so it could be denser material here. So its center of mass is here. So that's what the lambda's kappa x cubed means, is something that starts out very light density here, and it gets heavier, heavier, as, as the cubic of the distance, okay? So what, how do we find the center of mass? So we start out with the same way. X center of mass equals integral zero to L, X lambda dx over integral zero to L, lambda dx. So the top one has an extra x, the bottom is lambda dx. Now, the difference this time is you cannot factor the lambda out of the integral since it's not constant anymore. So you're going to put your lambda is kappa x cubed. Over here, you're going to put kappa x cubed. OK. And then the kappa will come out of the integral because it's just some constant. In other words, the kappa is something that tells you what are the different materials that you've glued together, you know, and what are their densities. So uh, it's, that's, that's the kappa. But the x cubed is the one that tells you how fast the density increases. Okay, so when kappa comes out, it cancels. So we don't need to know that. So then you have uh, integral 0 to L, x to the fourth dx over integral 0 to L, x cubed dx, then integrate that. You have on top what? x to the fifth over 5, 0 to L, x to the fourth over 4, 0 to L. And then you uh, put the L in, so you're going to have what? L5 over 5 divided by what? L to the fourth over 4. And that's equal to what? Four-fifth of what? Okay. Now notice, interestingly, the final answer is some coefficient times L. If I ended up with something like that, 
what would that tell me about my answer? That means immediately you know the answer is wrong. Because how can the center of mass be proportional to the length squared? The units don't even match. You see, if this is meter, it can't be meter square here. It's got to be meter, meter. So remember, units is very important. So if this is meter, this has to also be something meter, you know. So your final answer should always be some coefficient, something, times the, the length L. So notice what? That uh, brought the center of mass all the way to 80%. 80% of the length of the rod, somewhere here. Someone had a question? No? Yeah. Uh, you mean what? Uh, simplify this and this? Yeah, because it's zero to L, you could, but I wouldn't. You know, because you don't want to get used to simplifying and then get in trouble if one, if the limits were not zero to L. Yeah. Okay, so now, um, how about if the, let's try a different density function. How about if the density function was kappa x squared? Okay, what would the answer be? So you would go through, we could now do it a little quicker, quicker since we know the, the pattern here, 0 to L. Uh, What's going to happen here? You're going to end up with uh, x to the third on top, 0 to l. You're going to end up with uh, x squared on the bottom, right? I skipped the first couple steps. So uh, you're going to hand uh, l to the fourth over 4 divided by l cubed over 3, 3 fourths l. You see? So. Where is that now? The other one was 4 fifths L. So if this is 4 fifths L, 3 fourths L is where? So one is 80% of the length, the other one is 75%. So why? Why did it end up being closer to the left side with the x squared? It doesn't increase as fast, yeah. That means the density here is not that much more than the density there if an x squared function. So it doesn't increase as much. x cubed increases more, quicker. How about something like this? Lambda is equal to kappa, let's say something like this, uh, yeah, 2L minus x. In other words, when x equals to 0, the density is what? Kappa 2L. And when x equals to L, what's the density? The density function. When x equals to L, 2L minus L is uh, L, right? So there'll uh, be kappa L, right? So in other words, this is linearly decreasing function. So it's something like this. It's made of material that is, um, has some kind of density here. And over here, the density is half as that, you see? So it could be something like, uh, uh, let's say iron or, uh, yeah, iron and aluminum. That's about more than half, actually. But you got the idea. That the density of iron is about 7. Aluminum is about 2 to 2.5 to 3. So that's about, that's about 2 to 3 times less. So that's the kind of idea I'm talking about. Now the, uh, the density is decreasing. So we would expect its center of mass to be what? To the left of the, to the, left of the halfway mark, right? So if you do the integral for that, what do you get? So you're going to end up with the integral 0 to L, x times lambda dx over integral 0 to L without the x, the x missing, 